How disappointing, frustrating was that for you? Because I mean, you've gone on a, a good run, you know, you're unbeaten in four games, but I, I assume you're looking for the three points. Yeah, we were. I think frustrating is the better word for it. I don't think I could have been disappointed with the application, the effort, the endeavour, or the quality on show for any of my players. I don't think the other night to a man they were they were really good. And to say it's a unique game that I've been involved in. I've never seen a game like that or been involved in a game where you're so dominant with clear cut chances. And there's games you get loads of. It looks like you've got loads of shots in goal, but we had some real clear cut chances and not to to get the win is disappointing in that sense but oh, there's a frustration there because we know we played so well but there's also a lot of positives that now we can look at and, and we have done yesterday and this morning and the players have seen them as well that that can that can help us going forward that if we can apply the same pressure to other teams then we'll know how many many days like that it'll change and, and we'll get that probably the green or will be a bit more Clinical in front of goal. How big a couple of games is this coming up against Air United? Obviously away and then at home on Tuesday night. You know if you can get the three points against them on both occasions, you really push up the league and potentially could end up second. Yeah, that'd be ideal if that was the case. But we're just looking towards Saturday's one first. It's a it's a really tough place to go. We've won down there this season already, but. It, it's a difficult venue for, for every team and you need to be at it, you need to be right when you go down there and they're, like, they're, they're in the same position as us, they're fighting to, to get to second place, to cement a place in the playoffs so we know how difficult it's going to be but we're confident going down there. Do you take heart from you know results around you because it is so tight with that part of the table in the playoff position, we even see Dundee United getting, uh, not getting the victories that they would hope for to sort of secure the title? I don't, I, I, I don't really say I take heart in it and I, I, I'm looking for other results yet because I'm, I'm still fully focused on us. And I think our, how our season ends will be completely down to us. It's in nobody else's hands but our own. That If we can keep producing and performing the way we are, then I think we can have a successful end to the season and I believe we will have a successful end to the season. So at the minute it's about us. I'm not really too concerned about what's going on elsewhere, no, hopefully not, but if the time comes when we need that, then yeah, I'll, I'll look at it, but at the minute everything's just fully focused on what we can do and how we can go places and pick up three points and, and keep this momentum going and this run going. How big a difference will it make to your promotion chances, do you feel, if you can get that second spot? I don't know, I'm, I'd, I've been asked this question a fair bit recently and I don't see it as as beneficial as a lot of people maybe do see it. Uh, I've played in England, I've been down there with your 46 games a season and it's not that up here so I don't buy into that side of it. Um, and I've seen teams, I'm talking about England again because I've not had much experience of the playoffs up here other than watching it um, from afar a little but in England I've seen teams go on good runs, finish sixth in the championship and be the one because I've got the momentum. And they go and they go and do well and get promoted. Would it help not having the two games? It probably would in terms of you're you're not going to get the injuries. You you can you can train, you can prepare a little bit. But again, I'm not too. I don't buy into it too much. Where it will matter where you finish. Now that's no me saying I'm not caring where we finish. Of course, I want to finish second now. I want to continue this run and I want to get to the end of the season in a good run and in a good way of, of playing and, and being confident but whatever that is in the league we just need to make sure our performances are, are good come come the playoffs and or come round about when the playoffs will be decided and first and foremost make sure we're in there then then be confident and consistent when we are in it. We know how difficult it is to get out of this league, you only need to look at um, the likes of Dundee United but I mean how important is it to Dundee to be promoted this season, um, obviously last week they announced their financial results and they won so how important is it for, for this club? I'd say it's, as a group it's really important to us. Um, I'm talking about the playing staff, the coaching staff and you know, I'll probably add everybody into it. Actually it's really important to get back into the league. Looks like Dundee, Dundee United are going to be in the Premiership so if you're not in it you're missing your derbies which are four really important games a season. So that's 
not just financially but in terms of an atmosphere and a, a real big game then there's four of them a season if you're in the same league so it's, it's really important in terms of what we're trying to do as a club football and wise now the other side of it is I've read the reports and I've seen it but what I've always come back with on that is I've been back like every other manager so I've not paid too much attention to that and and that will continue to happen I'm sure no matter no matter what but that was the aim at the start of the season so I'm not going to sit here and say it's not important or we just need to wait and see the aim is to get promoted it always was but I believe we, we need to give ourselves the best possible chance to do that and, and it that starts with being really consistent, being really positive and going about things the way we are at the minute. That has to continue. James, obviously four games without defeat is a big positive for the team. How important is it that you start turning the draws into wins now? It is. Um, it's very important because we, we need the points. However, again, I'm, I'll just go back to it. It's about performances for me. and The, the other one, it's, it's, the other night's hard for me to even be critical at all of eh, my players even though we only came away with a point we were at home to Alwa so we were expected to win no disrespect to, to Alwa or MDLs but it's a game where we expected to win our fans expected to win but that's that's one of the games where so it is important yeah for the terms of where we are in the league but I think the performances are important we keep producing those performances and the, the three points will come and I think that was that was evident as well the other night in the atmosphere here it's the best I've seen it for a long time I'm going back even when we were in the Premier League that there were a real a real atmosphere the other night where I think the fans could see what we were trying to do as well and and I've been asked that question like the second one it's probably the, the question I've been asked is it is it hard to play here because the fans got on your back, or they got on our back for a reason. It's been my answer. The other night we gave them something to get behind, even though we were, we were drawing in a game. And they got behind us to the 93rd minute, so I think that's the proof. That shows exactly that I was right in what I was saying. If we give the fans something, then they'll get right behind us. So it's, it's up to us now to continue to do that, because when they're behind us, it's a massive help as well. Sure. Um, every game is going to be pretty much dog-eat-dog dog now, isn't it? But you, you must be pleased that you've got some real good uh, sort of generals out on the pitch, some real experience there to to help you through. That, that That's going to be crucial, isn't it? Yeah, as I think it's at a stage in the season where, as you say, it's a pressurised games now, everyone, because you need to win. Yeah, I mean, the more experienced uh, players you can have on that are in your squad that's been used to that environment. We've got Christoph Bear has done it in the Championship in England, as is Graham Dorans. We've got other players in our squad that have played in a, a higher level than, than this one at the minute, so having that experience is great, but again, it counts for nothing if the performances aren't right. We need that, but it's helpful when we've got a good spine of a, a squad out there that can that can dig really deep and that can help their teammates out. And Kane Hemmings, is, is, is he on the way back? How important yeah. would that be? Yeah, look, he's, he's huge for us. He's, for me, he's been, he's been excellent all season. Um, he's a, a really good player. To have in your team, even without his goals, I think he, he gets you up the pitch, he, he bullies centre-backs. Everything I've said about Kane, he's been excellent to work with. One, as a player when I played with him, and then two, as a manager, it's great. So he trained today, he's, he's healthy, and, and he'll certainly be in the squad for Saturday, yeah. Rest of the team news, how's everyone? Everybody apart from Marsh still. He's ahead of schedule, but he'll still be another... We'll rescan that probably in the next week or ten days, and then we'll... We'll hopefully get him on the end stage rehab as well, and he'll be able to stay as well when we get him back. And can I just get your thoughts briefly on on the you know coronavirus? There's obviously restrictions in, including you know no handshakes after the game. Is that is that just common sense? I don't know. Um, is that going a bit far? For me, yeah. But look, it, it's a difficult question for me to ask, eh, for me to answer. In case I say the wrong thing when I'm saying I'm I'm quite happy to shake people's hands, but we're as a society we're trying not to spread a, a virus um, but I was a bit surprised with the memo that came through that you had not to shake people's hands after games and whatnot. but look it's it's difficult it's yeah no I don't know it's a you've got me with that question it's one I'm, I can normally answer them pretty alright but no I'll, I'll not be changing too much um, and I think I don't know I'll be shaking Mark Kerr's hand in Saturday.
James, <laughs> James just finally, you're playing uh, the same team two matches in a row. Does that really feed the appetite for the win for you? And does it give you a chance to change things on the pitch once you've kind of seen how they play in your first match for the next one? It's it's a good situation. It's a unique situation. It's a challenge, um, but it's looking forward to again if we manage to make the playoffs. It's what we're going to face. So it's. Would you say it's a dress rehearsal? Probably not, because it might not be a United. The two have got a lot of work to do to get into the playoffs. As of Inverness still, because we've got we've got a pack of teams chasing us that are going to continue to do that. So that would be wrong to say that. But like it's it happens in football, and it's it's an interesting one. But it's one we're looking forward to um, going down there, and hopefully we come away with a positive result and get them back here. I'm really looking forward to getting them back here after the. And I'm being big on it because it, I, I certainly did feel it the other night and I'm no, again, I, I could have come out before and said a rallying call, we need the fans, but my, my say on it's always been that we need to give them something to, to shout about. I think we've done that on Tuesday night, which is strange because we, we didn't win the game, but I'm looking forward to getting back here again. That gave me a, and the players a real taste and a real buzz of what Dens can be like when we, we get them going. And, and that's what we need now, So and that's what we spoke about since the game. If we produce like that level of performance, then we've got an extra, not an extra man, but we've got an extra power out there that when they get behind us, then you, you felt that the other night, right to the 93rd. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the win for them, but I think they walked away proud as well, and that's something I said in my very first interview. I want a team that they can be proud of, so we've got Saturday and Tuesday, so we'll a positive result on Saturday, we believe, and hopefully, and then get them back here, and I'm sure Tuesday night will be a really, really good atmosphere.